Ann's with us in Syracuse, New York. Hi, Ann. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm, I'm better than I deserve. How are you today? Just the same. How can I help? Oh, good. Uh, I have a question for you okay. about two Bible verses I've come across recently. Okay. My husband and I are FPU coordinators, and we're on Baby Step 7. Okay. So we definitely know plenty of Bible verses that are anti-debt. We're not going to change our stance on debt based on what I'm about to ask you, so I'm not about to go back into debt. Don't worry. Okay. Um, but I'm just hoping you can help me understand these verses because they're not negative about debt or lending. They're actually a little bit positive, which kind of confused me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want to hear what they are? Sure. Matthew five forty two, mm-hmm. give to the one who asks you, mm-hmm. and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Mm-hmm. Okay, look okay. the, wor- look the, the other word. one. Stop, stop just a second. Go, go to your um, okay, sorry. Go to your uh, Hebrew and Greek, and look up the Greek on the word lend, the borrow okay. on that. And what you're going to find is it's another version of give. Okay. Because what it's doing is picking up the King James English. And it's not okay. it's not picking up the actual interpretation of the Greek, and um, because it, it's in other words that verse. If and if you go back and read a couple verses on either side of that one, what you're going to mm-hmm. see is the whole spirit of the thing in context is all about loving other people well, not making is, the, not yeah. making them your slave. And so um, this is not this is not like uh, an excuse for the banking business to be in existence, <laughs> you know. And you, you're, <laughs> not, you're not, you're not, yeah, you're not, you're not being adversarial. I understand that. So, but no, it, it's no, just, certainly. it's just the spirit of lending. There is like you, you would, uh, you ever have somebody say, "I want to borrow a cup of sugar," right? But they okay. never, but they never bring it back. No. Okay. It's or that borrow it, tissue. Yeah, it's that kind. Of, can I borrow a tissue? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, can I borrow some toilet paper? Yeah, please don't bring this back. Yeah. And so you no. know that that Ooh. kind of stuff, right? So it's that kind of a thing. It's that kind of a borrowing and lending. It's not a, um, it, it's not a transaction like a bank. And I'm running okay. out of time. But right quick, tell me what the other one is. I'm dying. Is it Genesis? Well, the other one is. No, the other one is Psalm 112.5. It's probably the exact same problem, but it's probably from the Hebrew. Goodwill come to those who are generous and lend freely. Yes. Who conduct yes. their affairs with justice. Yeah. You. Again, go pull your Hebrew on that, and you're, what you're going to find there is is that you give that cup of sugar is lending. I'm going to lend you a cup of sugar, and I don't expect it back, really. And that's where usury laws in the Old Testament come into play as well. So, hey, good question. I love having those discussions. Appreciate you calling in, and thanks for leading the class.